It was a beautiful Saturday morning, early in September, early in the season, and I was uh, coming to the Swansea.com stadium to see Swansea versus Bristol City. I had a phone call on the way uh, saying that there was an issue with my daughter, 21 weeks pregnant. Now I'm a father of four, grandfather of, of three, and you expect these little hiccups along the way. Uh, I registered it, put it at the back of my mind, got on with the game. Uh, we went one up. Liam Cullen scored. Sadly, we lost the game 2-1. I came back into the, uh, into the reception, the lounge, and I had quite a frantic call from my, from my wife saying that maybe things were a little bit more serious than I had thought. We soon found out that my daughter's wards had broken, and before long, the baby was born at 21 weeks. I say the baby. Gulliver was born at 21 weeks, taken into the neo, neonatal uh, ICU, NICO unit, where he was given some amazing treatment. I remember walking into the ICU unit, seeing all these, these little boxes, the incubators, and my daughter gave me a great big smile. Obviously her heart was breaking at the time as well. And I saw Gulliver for the first time, this little bundle fighting for life. His little, little chest is rising and falling. And it was just such a, a life moment. You know, I've been incredibly blessed. I know that from parents to children to grandchildren to suddenly see this little bundle that I couldn't, I couldn't do anything for. I wanted to fix it. His dad's an engineer. He wanted to fix it. You know, my, I can't do any more for Gulliver. Uh, it soon became apparent that uh, even though he was fighting uh, as hard as he could and they were doing everything they could, that there was only going to be one option. So we called the whole family together. We were all welcomed and we all spent a, an evening laughing, crying, holding this little bundle. And the next morning we woke to find out that he wasn't with us any longer. I suppose the most difficult part was the funeral itself. A big black car arriving with a little white coffin. His dad, Gulliver's dad, carried the coffin through the chapel and we said our goodbyes. And of course, for the wake, we all went to Joe's for an ice cream. It was amazing, the whole experience was amazing. Something that you always think you can fix it. You think medicine, something, something will happen, some magic will happen. <laughs> I had the whole world praying for little Gulliver, but he went off on his journeys. As I left the unit for the last time, I said, if there's anything I can ever do to say thank you, uh, just, just, just pick up the phone and ask. And it was then I heard about Kutch Close. Five houses, all two bedroom houses, for people who don't live as close as I did. I mean, I could be there in five minutes, 10 minutes at the most. Uh, but if you live far away, maybe in West Wales, Bristol, what are you gonna do if the same thing happened to you and your family? These five two bedroom houses, they're a little bit, well, they need some TRC. They said, can you help us launch uh, the Kutch Close Appeal? And it's something you don't want to talk about. It is such, such a personal experience you've gone through, worried about what your, what your daughter's going to think every time she hears you mention the word Gulliver. Um, but I said yes, wrote something for the local paper. And it was back here at the Swansea.com. I, I walked in, I'd sort of forgotten I'd, I'd gone public with the story. I had these grown men rushing up to me and, and hugging me and saying, what can we do to help? And then when I go into the lounges, because I help out here in the lounges as well, people would come up to me, who I've known for a long time, I know the faces, and they'd say, that happened to us 20 years ago, 30 years ago. And I still think about that baby ever since. Now, the good thing is that ours was a sad outcome. But of course, what Nico does is, is provide hope. And there are so many uh, children running around causing mischief who have uh, appreciated that help. So it's not always a sad story, but you need somewhere to stay. So for me, this is the perfect partnership. Two great loves of my life at the moment. Swansea Bay Health, Charity Cutch Close Appeal, but also the Swans. You know, you think of all the great partnerships Swansea's have had in the past. You think of Alan Curtis with Robbie James, Jeremy, Jeremy Charles and, and uh, David Giles. This is another great Swansea City partnership. Uh, the Swansea Bay Health Charity Cutch Close Appeal in Swansea City. And I know together, we can make a real difference.